to spread the azure canopy of heaven and make it twinkle with those spangs of gold to stay this weighty mass of earth so even that it should all and naught should it uphold to give strange motions to the planet seven or Job to make so meek or Mars so bold to temper what is moist, dry, hot and cold of all their jars that sweet accords are given Lord, to thy wisdom naught is, nor thy might but thou shouldst thy glory laid aside come meanly in mortality to bide and die for those deserved eternal plight a wonder is so far above our wit that angels stand amazed to muse on it O oh, my dear heart, young Jesus sweet, prepare thy cradle in my spirit, and I shall rock thee in my heart, and never more from thee depart. Luke tells us of the events of that first Christmas that Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can I give him? Give my heart. Lord Jesus, as we reflect upon the events of that first Christmas, we are quick to recognise that there is nothing we can offer you. But we do ask you to prepare our hearts that you might always find a welcome and a home there. O oh, my dear heart, young Jesus sweet, prepare thy cradle in my spirit, and I shall rock thee in my heart, and never more from thee depart. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas tide. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and all you love this night and every night and day until his glorious day appears.